everyone and welcome to the latest installment of the Music Magpie. One for Sodo, two for Joy. Now I've, I bought quite a, a few PS2 games and they've all come in, in four separate parcels. Three of them are quite weighty like this and then one is a, is a single item. So yeah they all, they all came at different times and to be honest I was getting quite worried with these because um, they were taking a while to turn up but they have all arrived and I'm keen to find out what I got because like, like always I forget what I've ordered and I'm intrigued to find out what condition we're, we're in this time I haven't had a perfect run yet so maybe, maybe today maybe this episode is the one I'm going to get them out blind there's one, two, three, I think there's three in this package. Like I said, I completely forgot. I think some of these were on the deals. I think I am running out of um, games on the deals. Pretty much got them all now. Uh, so yeah, I'm on to the more pricier games, even though they're still relatively cheap. Uh, maybe 150, two pounds or what have you. But yeah, I'm moving on a little bit up in price. What's the first one? Right, so we've got X-Men, the official game. So we've got Wolverine on the front there. So far, this, this feels weighty enough to have a, a manual inside. Condition, yeah, there's no, there's no wrong with that at all. There's no marks on it, nice and clean. Yes, we're good. We've got the manual. We've got the correct disc. I'll just do one disc check. That's up. It's fine. Yeah. There's maybe a few thumb prints on there. Yeah, that's fine. Absolutely spot on. Uh, let's do the click test. One click, two click. That's a beautiful case. And that's a beautiful item, I must admit. That is X Men, the official game. So that is two for joy. That's the first one. Next. I can feel a little blemish on this case as I pulled it out. This is, it's not too bad, Winter Sports. Just a generic sports title. Yeah, that, I mean, from a distance, don't look too bad. That plastic is a little bit like peppered. It's a... Uh, Sharp, you know what I mean. It's not a problem, it's not a problem. Weight wise, I'm a bit worried about this actually. Oh no, no, just a thin manual, I believe. Yeah, pretty thin. So that's good, we are complete. And yeah, condition wise, we're, we're not in bad, we're not in bad condition. I don't know if you can see, it's just a bit. A little bit frayed, that's all. But I've got case swaps if I really were going to be that picky. That's a nice game, to be honest. That's fine. Um, that is a tool for joy. That is Winter Sports by Oxygen Games. That's a tool for joy. That's two out of two. I'm going good so far. The last game out of this pack. Oh, classic. Hannah Montana. Spotlight World Tour. A little bit of muck on the side there. But no, you know, that can clean up. So far the case feels in good condition. It feels, yeah, it feels like it could be a manual, a thin manual maybe. That's Hannah Montana. This is a Disney game. Um, yeah, this is good. This is a good start. We've got a, we've got a manual and a disc correct disc yeah click test did I do a click test with the last one I think I did that's a nice click we've got a little sticker down there but that'll come off that is a joy three out of three I'll undo the single one this is just a single one at first I did wonder why on earth they were sending them separately but obviously they're coming from different um, warehouses or, or, or shops or whatever so, am I right in saying that Music Magpie used to own That's Entertainment? Is that, is that the right one? 
So here we've got, and, feels, and again it feels like a nice case, it is a nice case. This is simply off-road. Um, endorsed by Land Rover and Ford. Uh, this is by Explosive, actually, yeah. Never realised Explosive did any PS2 games. I know they did um, PC games, usually um, hidden object, uh, point and click adventure kind of game, puzzle games. I never know they did anything on the PS2. So, weight wise, yeah, don't feel too bad, yes. Nicely. That's got a manual, it's got the correct disc. We're going good. Four out of four, that is a joy. That's a joy. Click test, nice clips you just did. Lovely, lovely. So let's move on to the next parcel. I haven't opened these, I've not opened these at all. Um, I know Martin, you, that you, the UK gamer, he, uh, he mentioned now his package came a bit tatty and yeah I think these I think those at Magpie use Hermes and they're not the best let's face it yeah they don't pay particular attention to the care of the packages so let's go on to the next game this feels a nice one um, this is a Midas game this is the seed um, on the spine it's just the seed, but on the front there is a subheading, war zone, perhaps two, the, the seed war zone two maybe. Um, I couldn't tell you what kind of game this is, just know it's my, my guess. Um, feels weighty enough. Oh, how unfortunate, bloody hell. How wrong were I then? Got a nice clip, but with no manual on the bloody hell on the Midas game as well. Midas, um, I do believe, are coming, coming a little bit collectible as a subset on the PS2. Midas Metro 3D, um, you know, along with the, the others, uh, Phoenix and 505 games. Yeah, Midas is another one of them. Oh, what a damn shame, because that does feel quite weighty. Saying that now, I know I know there's no manual. Yeah. I'm afraid that's a, that's a sorrow. That's one for sorrow. Oh dear. Never mind. Never mind. Let's move on. Let's see what we've got next. This feels light. This is from the same parcel, so from the same same shop. This is Tony Ox Proving Ground. The I mean. Feels lovely this this uh, case. It feels brand new. This is by Activision. Is it in the correct case even? No, it's not in the correct case at all. It's no manual. Um, as Rob Gernardino pointed out, you can tell if it's a correct case. PS2 uh, cases have the slot for the memory card above. This has just been. Uh, put in a DVD case. That is an absolute fail. And what a shame. Don't matter about the click, it's the wrong case. Um yeah. Oh dear. So Oak's not very high for this third game from the same peep from the same department though saying that it does feel very weighty. Not sure it's in the right case though again. We've got a UEFA challenge. Um, football game case you know it's unblemished not a mark on it really it is I am I'm surprised um, look at that it is a correct case it's, there you go memory card slot does anybody ever keep memory cards in these I mean you're not going to put a memory card in each and every game are you <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's complete. It's got the manual, it's got the correct disc. And what a shame about those two. We haven't finished yet, there's another parcel. But that is in nice condition. Um, this one, obviously, is a joy, it's a tool for joy. Nice click. That's a nice click, fairly subdued click. 
but clicked nonetheless, it clicked shut. And then finally, on to the last one. Three games in here again. I honestly cannot remember what I've got. Oh, this feels light. This feels like it's been swapped in our wick case. Rolling around in there. This is karaoke stage. I'd be good if this hadn't got a manual because. Oh dear. I'm not sure I'll be able to get hold of many of these anyway. That is the game. Case is in nice condition. Another fail, another fail. It's the correct disc. Big no manual. It's not even the correct case. Bloody hell. What a shame. Music magpie. What have you done to me this time? That's free. That's a sorrow. That's three sorrows. So we've got five joys, three sorrows. There's two left. <coughs> Let's hope it doesn't equal itself out. This does feel weighty. It's a generic sports title. And it's NHL 2005. But it is in the right case. The case is in nice condition. Feels weighty. It's fine. Thank God for that. <laughs> So we've got a manual, we've got the correct disc, uh, yeah it's the correct case, two nice clicks, that's a joy, and thankfully the joys have outweighed or outnumbered the sorrows. The last one, right, yeah, Heat Seeker by Codemasters, this feels weighty, this isn't the correct box, but I'm assuming the blue box is the correct case. There's not a mark on that. That's nice condition. And yeah, yes. That's cheered me up. That has, um, you know, made, I suppose made up a little bit for the two, uh, the three sorrows. Click, click. Lovely clicks then, lovely. Oh, oh, music to me is. <laughs> so yeah, that is Eat Seeker uh, by Codemasters. That is the final game of this instalment of Music Magpie. So what we got, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven joys, three sorrows. Didn't realise I ordered so many games actually. Uh, like I said, I think I've run out of the deals. Um, and I'm even having to troll quite far down the list to find PS2 games that I ain't got. There is a good chance I could run out of games, um, you know, kind of ending the series, unless I move on to PS3 maybe, um, and, and other formats, <laughs> but I don't really collect for other format. We'll see. But yeah, um, it's, yeah, it's got to be a success for that. Like I said, the, the joys outweigh the sorrows. So, just a shame about them. Been lucky to get all the manuals for them, I think, especially karaoke stage. Um, I've got case swaps. Um, they will go in the collection still, once I've swapped the, the bad cases out. Um, as I've said before, they just go in the collection um, and they don't get put in them plastic wrappers. That's how I know the game has no manual. Or he's, he's defect in some way, there's something wrong that I need to swap something out. Uh, but yeah, that is the latest installment of the Music Map by series. And as always, thank you for watching, and until next time, see you later.